Okay, let's talk about how to fix a oil reservoir level sensor in a Mercury 125 outboard. Now, when you have the oil, we have a constant alarm, right? And you disconnect the oil reservoir um, wires, sensor wires, which are these one, and the, it's connected all the way to the sensor and the bottom in this hole here. Right, so this is the sensor that's plugged in a hole on the bottom. And you pull out the sensor, the alarm's gone. Now, you can just get a new assembly. But the problem was these are the sensor parts, right? So if you look in the hole, All the way to the bottom, there were that three rings, and the middle one is a pillar. The pillar is where this float sitting on, and there's a magnet here. It's glued to the bottom of that float. So when the oil level is high, it goes up. When the oil level low, it goes down. And when it goes down, it tricks your sensor. Over time, the glue gets loose the magnet, magnet falls off, sits on the bottom. That's why your float is going up and down, your magnet sitting on the bottom, and the sensors keep getting triggered. And this piece is basically, you have these two stacked sitting on the pillar, and this goes on top of the pillar. It's, it clicks in like that if you push it down, and it keeps the float. The float will go float up and hit it, it won't flow away, you know, like, and then, so this is the piece that you had to pull off first. And to get that whole assembly out, right, I've made this tool. This is one of those portable collapsible marshmallow roaster. Um, you take a plier, you bend the tip and make it into like a grasper and you extend that because it's got two feet down all the way you know, deep into the, the oil tank. So you gotta take this in all the way to the bottom. And basically you insert this in, now let's say, I'm gonna simulate here. This thing was sitting on the pillar and your hook has gotta go in and prop it off and pull it all the way out. And then you can pull these out with the hook, right? And now you can glue your magnet back to the sensor or tie it off with a fishing line or I don't know, whatever, however you think it's gonna fix it to it the best so this don't happen again. Then you just had to figure out how to put this back. Um, I figure it might be a challenge to put this part back and um, I might have to have a sort of a ring around this to push it down when it goes so it clicks in. But basically that's the concept, how you fix it. And I'll show you if I figure out a way to put this click back in better. All right, safe boating out there.